Guys, I deba debated whether or not to even make this video. And uh, first I gave the company I bought them from a chance to uh, to make it right. And I'm not going to call that company out, but a lot of you are going to know exactly who I'm talking about. But this is intended just to warn people who might be considering buying these. Because it sounds great. So this is, uh, these are HP Hewlett Packard battery modules. And uh, back up for servers or whatever. And uh, here's what the ad copy says from the company that's selling these. It says the modules were used as backup only. And only is in bold. And it says so they still have a ton of life left in them. We tested a couple thousand of these cells and they tested at 90% or better. Sounds great. They're uh, 43.2 volts, so they are. They consist of uh, LG 1500 milliamp hour 18650 cells, rated at 30 amps each, and they're in a configuration of 12 series, two parallel. So they should be good for. Uh, 60 amps and in fact they have a 70, 70 amp fuse in each of them also has a BMS so you get 24 18650s in each of these and uh, because it's uh, 43.2 volts that that sounds like it's almost good enough to power 48 volt loads like uh, uh, 48 volt e-bike for example, or something like that. In reality, to run a 48 volt system, you need to add at least one additional cell in series, or one additional pair of cells, parallel pair of cells in series, to get to 48 volts. But still, you know, it's they're broken down into uh, individual two cell parallel packs, broken down into 12 of those. So if you uh, open it up and remove the uh, the BMS, remove all those little the little two cell packs, and add one additional two cell pack to each one, you can get 48 volt uh, packs out of these. But uh, from the ad copy, you know it says that uh, they're good. You know, they got a lot of life in it. It says, oh, and I quote, a ton of life left in them. And it's a great price, if that were true. But here's the thing. I bought five of these. Because they were cheap. And it says on this, this tag here, there's an LED indicator. And it says LED behavior, one, solid green means fully charged. Blinking green means not fully charged. Blinking amber means out of circuit. Solid red means bad battery string. Triple blink green when removed more than more than 90% charged, I think that says. Double blink green when removed, between 50 and 90% charged. Single blink green when removed, less than 50% charged. Okay, so if you get a single green blink when you do this, see what this is, they go into a rack mount. And uh, when you uh, push this lever over, that's for the lock to hold it in place. When you push it over, it will activate the LED to tell you the state of charge. So that single blink. We got. No, that's a double blink. Yeah, that's double blink. So that means 
double blink between 50 and 90 percent charged so that's a good one see what this one does double blink this one okay that's single blink so that means that it's less than 50 percent charge but still should be good those are the only three I've got that blink and that is out of nine of them see I bought five only one of them blinked green and I started taking some of the other ones apart and I found rust and I think the first one I took apart I didn't find any cells whatsoever that I could revive it was complete wasted effort I had to uh, throw all of them in my scrap bin and uh, some of the other ones that don't blink I got maybe one or two cells out of them that I was able to revive so anyway I sent an email to the company I bought them from and uh, I said I told them that out of five that I purchased only one of them had any life in it and the rest of them were bad you know and they said okay we'll replace those four then we'll we'll send out uh, four replacements for you so those four replacements showed up today and out of those four two had any life the other two were dead so that's the thing I, I bought five of them I ended up getting nine total but I only got three good ones out of that and uh, you know the the rest of them like I said in, in tearing them apart some of those packs I haven't torn them all apart yet but the average is maybe one or two good cells out of 24 and that would have been okay I, I wouldn't have paid you know the price that uh, that they're charging for them which is 50 percent of what they were charging for them a while back but they dropped it to 50 percent and uh, that's what made me decide to go ahead and buy some but they should have changed the uh, their advertising they should have changed their description because you know I paid ten dollars each for these packs knowing what I know now I wouldn't have given five dollars each for them so you know just be aware that uh, if you buy these don't believe what the advertising says on them because it's not going to be that way most likely it certainly wasn't for me even with two tries and you know if they had sent me four good ones to replace the bad ones I wouldn't be making this video but uh, or I probably wouldn't anyway because you know they would have made it right but since they did not make it right you know they made it a little bit better but still not good enough and I'm not going to contact them again but uh, I just wanted to warn you guys thanks for watching